Hello, ladies and gentlemen out there on YouTube land. Thank you very much for joining us. This is Surath. We're getting ready to declare war on Scotland here. Uh, and in the process, bringing in France. That war, the biggest thing is to beat up, is to take Paris as quickly as we can. So we're going to probably, we're going to see more troops over here. So let's go ahead and ferry ourselves over here and this is a stack of trade ships what are you doing um are you on join the panama region um sure or mexico um let's see rio nope north sea maybe just no I guess the Panama region is where we go. Because you should join up with that other group and be merged with that group. Alright. Um, Alright, here's a five stack. Let's go bring you merge in here. And... Uh, is France... Did France join up in this war here? Um, yep. So we need to siege down Kent now. Um, in fact, let's go and split this down and send you over here. Alright, so... Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, so basically we're just trying to hold... Hold things down before... Jeez. Um... So France doesn't get any any decent land off this. Any land up here. I, at least not right now. Sweden's expired. Ottomans. Again, I don't want to fight Sweden, France, and all those glories. Glories, so... Alright, so we're done. And... So fall back here and fall back here. And yep, done. Squish. And you fall out into the French army. Into the French. Glorious. Alright. Colony self-sustaining. Most excellent. Um... Let's see. Well, we could try to get these guys. Um, although we probably should colonize this land. I don't know why I haven't colonized that land yet. Because nobody's going to get that. Oh, Spanish Peru. So we'll have two colonial nations here. All right. Um, so, yay. Yeah, all right. And see, they're almost through, so if we eat, if we cut Spanish Brazil up a little bit, because that's wasteland here, um, yeah, they should be able to colonize this. We need to colonize these three provinces, um, and we need to colonize that, and we'll see if they can get through here. Looking good? Ah. All right, anyways. Um, we ha we have everything full sieged over here. We'll probably get to deal with stupid rebels. Um, yay. Um, all right. Everybody, come back. Where's our Scottish separatists? Okay, you're having no revolt problems. Okay. And there we go. And we now merge. And twiddle our thummies a little bit. Um, right. You go here and guess you go here. 
put you in marches. And you know what? Let's go ahead and kill all the forts. No sense of paying for them. Honestly, I'm I'm tempted. Once once that gets in there, we'll just shut off the um, shut off the uh, park the fleets and shut off the the fleet maintenance, and we'll be good. Um. Yeah, and we're just waiting at this point for time. What's your French? What's the French army navy? What's the French army's like? Um. Honestly, that's not too horrific. Uh, you already see, yeah. This is actually a good time to turn on on Scotland. Ah, uh, do we go up to get, go against them now? Because they're the French are already mercenary up. They have no manpower. So now is a good time to march on Paris. Um, are you winning your war or losing your war? Um, hungry, really? You are winning your war against Great Britain. Great Britain is the only one you're fighting? Huh. Um, occupied by Scotland. Okay. Okay, so Scotland's probably going to get these. Um... What are you looking like here? Um, we need five more for our force limit here. Hmm. As tempting as it is, can we afford this? Can we afford to go against France right now? Probably. More than likely. Let's go ahead and just keep plowing through. And our forts are blockaded. Alright, um... Really? You sent... Okay. You have fun with that. Um... Right, cheerio. And, of course, here's our advisor. We can't afford... <sighs> How are we on military tech? We are 80% ahead. I'm going to run with no advisor for a little bit, because that helps slow our hemorrhaging down a little bit. Um, of course, we could try to reduce inflation. Um, or... Let's see. Taxes. Nope. All right, so yeah, never mind. Um, boost stability. Oh, nice. My king needs to die. Look at that. Six, four, five. Wow. Um, coring's coming in. All right, what DED do we want? Um, let's go ahead and take. Do we want to continue with our tech path here? Tech reduction path, save some money here? No, we're IDing up, so we're plowing through our idea groups, so and coring. So we're gonna go with Odin. Sir Odin here. Core creation cost. There we go. And yep, one you are forty three, so you're probably not gonna last too long. Uh, my heir is well. Once he turns, once he turns eight, uh, fifteen, I will create. We will we'll, uh, create him. Make him a general. Depend, let's see how good you are. Um, you're sh crap. You are totally crap. All right. Um. Yeah, heir is a little bit on the young side. And my force limit just went by 10. Was that because my god changed? Wow, I lost 10 off my force limit here. Yep, 
Accident in five. Oh no, my um my that's right, ten This guy. I guess we have to take him. Yeah, whatever. Um Yep. Well, We're, waiting, we're basically waiting on war score here. Now, this is going to kill our war score when that falls. Um, I guess get a move on it. And go here. Or rather go here. Yep, that's fine. We lost that. We lost that. And this is where, honestly, I can see Shen's point on why forts are absolute crap because they can just sit down here and carpet siege everything and it would take them just just takes them forever and it costs gives them no war score and inactive forts are costing me look how much look how much money we're losing on forts. There's no point to have, especially these forts, here. Um, you know what? That's just, yeah. We're destroying. We're we're getting. They're never on. They just take up valuable land space. Now, this fort to me makes sense. Uh, this fort doesn't really do anything, because they can just walk around it. Um, let's see. And let's go ahead and... Because I never have them on. So army tradition doesn't matter. Now how does that... Look how much money we've saved. Quite a bit. Yeah, forts and strategic choke, choke points are good, but there's, like, this one's okay for now. Once once I get more land, eh. There's no real str strategic choke point. Maybe if I put one here, maybe, because that covers these these three here, and, uh, like, one here to co basically protect the capital, or, like, yeah, because right here, because that covers these two provinces... And these two provinces, so I now have a, uh, a choke point for my capital. Uh, this one really doesn't have, doesn't do anything for me. Um, probably could a little bit. Let's see. I'm trying to get my finances under control here. Um, all right, let's go ahead and burn Meath down. Um, we're gonna burn this down, and we're gonna take that down. What that does for me now is Cusco Golden Skates. You can now. Okay, so I can't. I'm gonna leave that there in my capital. Well, it's not even on. Um, although my capital does have a fort anyway, so it doesn't matter, does it? I don't think it does. And that's the... And we have... I see no reason to be paying for... These guys' forts. Um, and... After all that maintenance? Hey! We can afford all of our stuff now that we got rid of the forts. And yeah, I can upgrade my my, my fleet. Um, let's see. One ship will get upgraded there. Um, and Scottish Separatists are finally getting pissy. And I can't afford the cost to upgrade 19 ships. So 
so good. Let's go ahead and get this 27 stack up here and let's get you here. So yay, with the war, with the war so with the war taxes, we can definitely maintain all of our stuff. I just don't have 900 ducats to um to pay for it. Why? Because I had too many freaking forts. I'm now I'm now down to one three forts. One one of three forts. And two of them are in here. Yes, I know they give me army tradition, but I never have them on between wars, so that kills my army tradition. Alright, what's going on down here? Um Seriously, you are marching on my face. Oh, great. Um, you'll do. You have... Yeah. I don't want to put my king in there because I don't want him to die before I can declare war on, um, on France here. And I'm not quite ready. I want, I want the war with with England to be close to being closer to being done. Wow, even with look at the he rolled a zero. Um right, let's go and see if this and then we can destroy that fort. Yeah, we're good. He's probably gonna shatter to to Santa Clina anyway. I would imagine that, yeah. All right, so how big, let's see, what's our army like? All right, so if local trade power. So we're waiting on, um, I guess we're waiting on these rebels to fire off. Really is what I'm waiting on, is these rebels to fire off, and then we can go look at France here. Um... Let's see. We're in position here. We have 22k here. Um, yep. That's fine. I'm concerned about the date. Okay. Nice. Not by Rebels. Alright. Go here. Um, I guess you go here and you come down here and hope my rebels don't spawn. I, I'm kind of expecting um, France here to take land in England, which would be fine, which means I'll be able to take land from hopefully take that land. Um, all right, so. best way to switch rebels is to overdo it by sheer numbers wow um overkill much guys um all right england will you be would you be willing to give me this no why Very close. Very close. So, now if I came over here and siege down, I see I don't want any of this land because let's see regions. It's outside my. It's in the Germany region. I don't care about Germany. I care about Britain, Scandinavia, and North and South America here. That's what I care about. So, again, I'm also just w trying to see for these Scottish Separatists to, um, there we go. That's what I wanted. Um, 
sure. There we go. And now we're losing money. Why are we losing money? Um, due to reinforcements. All right, so what are we looking like on France? Um, France has no manpower, so they're working up. There is no, yeah, there's nothing to worry about down here. The, yeah, even combined, my armies, well, um, actually, for for the achievement for Odin, you need to be Norse. For the um. Um, to get first come first serve, all you have to be is a custom nation with spending no more than 200 points and start as a Western technology. So that kind of limits your thing. So you don't have to be pagan at all. Um, I just chose to be Norse because I thought it'd be fun, and it gave, gave me the secondary achievement ability here. All right, so. Um, 14. So you've rebuilt yourself. So come down here. You are going... Yeah, you're, you're coming back. So I guess you come here. Actually, you're probably going to fight down here. Really? You're just landing more and more troops down here. Um, now, going the uh, Mayan route is also a good idea because with reforms you can have up to five five um, colonists so being able to run five colonists would have been made this a little bit helpful and occupied by great britain all right god you're slow all right let's go ahead and give you the um, let's give you this guy. All right, so. And, wow, we gain 10 loyalty, and then we lose 10 loyalty. And I'm, I'm happy about religious unity here. Rio, whatever. I should have put a siege pip in here. Eh, whatever. Ah, I don't see anything. Why can't they be faster? There's nothing wrong with it. Why do they have to have... Why does it have to be cannons? I don't see why they have to be slow. They, these are strong buff as guardians. They should be... They should be able to uh, use the power of the gods to just bring them in their face. And you run away. They got a little faster when I put a maneuver general in, the, in there. All right, um, 60% war score. All right, that's fine. Yep, they are sieging that down. So let's get see see if we can get. Uh, let's force march you. See if we can't get get some speed in there because they're probably gonna lose that fight, especially when that other stack merges in. Yep, squish. All right, well, let's shut off force marching. No reason to do so. And... That, uh, we're rolling bad. Ooh, ew, ew, that's, ew, that hurt. Where are you running to? Where are you running to? <laughs> yes, they are using the power of the gods to slug those beer lovers through. All right. Um, and there you go. Start on sieging. And you shattered all the way over there. That's fine. You give me what I want now? Yes. All right. Um...
This war is. I'm done with. I'm done with this war. It's going to take a few years to core that. France is in a bad spot, though, so it's really good to... I'm not in position for, for it. I'm just trying to work out, do we chain the two war, the next war? Um, France, what are we looking at? They're starting to recover. Let's see. We have we we actually have more art, more of a military city here than they can feel than their maximum fielding. So yeah, I want to need to let their money, my money recover. Um. All right. So let's go ahead and send demand. Let's go ahead and just peace out here. All right. So. Wow, that was expensive. Um, raise the autonomy, obviously on all these preferences. It will come down. And after we core all that, we can see about forcing this center reformation out of the way. Once we get that cord. Great. Yeah, we can't... Okay, good, we can core... We can't... Or at least right now, we don't have religious zeal. So we can't force that center of reformation out of the way. <sighs> I expect France is going to take some land here. Honestly. Um, so let's go ahead and get some claims started here. When is this... When's our truce up now? A while. All right. Anyways, let's get let's go ahead and get a claim on Essex here. You know what? Let's get a f claim on Cox here. And I see there. I don't ally with the Liege in France. See, I forced them to break their alliance with the Ottomans and. Now I regret that because if they if I let them keep their alliance with the Ottomans, then Fran then they wouldn't have got an alliance with France. So we're gonna let our money recover. We're gonna kill our maintenance here. We're going to deactivate the forts. Um. No forts here. Honestly, this fort right here has been nothing but trouble. Um, we're going to destroy that castle. And now we have down to two. Now we finish coring. Then we, we finish our idea group. And... Is there anything else we... Our truce expired with these guys? Uh, no. Two years. Alright, let's go. Now let's leave you. Oh, wow. Um, hi, Scotland. Um, the only way th reason why we're able to walk through is because, well, he hasn't finished co colonizing that. Uh, no, you don't get access. Nope. Why wouldn't you walk... Whatever. <sighs> whatever. See, he's walking correctly. Alright, so we're going to core those. We want those t those cores to come in. Um, Scotland's... Letting Scotland colonize, which is good. They're probably going to absorb these things, which is also good. Um... Very nice, Brazil. Peru, you're doing fine. Um, very nice. Um, do we? 
Now, what we also could do is once we get to war with France, instead of letting them break, instead of forcing the, France to break the alliance, we could get the war score up against Sweden. We can declare war against Scotland so Sweden get, doesn't get pulled in, but we're already fighting with France. Then I go go fight Sw the Swedes to pull... Uh, ah, never mind. That doesn't work. We'll just break the alliance. Uh, we're already at plus one stability, so um, I'm pretty cool with, with what we, where we're sitting at. Um, what I care about is conversions here. Why can't I... That religious zeal's killing me. Maybe once we get rid of that, that center of reformation, um, it'll be better. Alright, and... This missionary strength... Strength will be very, will be good. And once we get a new king, get this King Odin here, um, we'll be able to plow through there, right? Excellent. Holy War against Spanish Peru. Eh. Alright, let's go ahead and finally get this colonized. Um. Okay. Let you guys... Oh, that's bad. That's... Really? Well, maybe not. So we might as well go ahead and recall you. France. Good job, France. France is being very good. Um, I guess let's go ahead and Santa Colin is there. And, oh. Yeah, three stabs really good. You don't really get that. It just reduces your uh, revolt risks, and um, that's about it. If only I had Comet Sense. Alright. Um, we lost the Conquest, CB. Really? Um, what are these, French? Swedish. Okay. No. Oh, there's, there's Sweden. Okay, good. I'm really happy to see we're finally getting some colonization going on here. Um, are you still at war? You change, okay, your French war is done. All right. Um, how, let's see. All right, we'll see, accept peace with Scotland on great terms. We'll see Picardy to France. Great Britain will see Lorthian. Really? Oh, hi there, Scotland. Okay. Um, you're back. Is, did you move your capital back? No. Um, Great Britain will so give all claims in. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Give them all the claims in my land. Um, and okay, so that means. Definitely declaring war on Scotland is a good thing. Um, let's get a fabric. Let's go <clears throat> fabricate claim here, and then we can come back, eat those two, and it just makes it easier to um, to eat. Now, look at that, 60k. They had 60k right here. Excellent. I already pulled him away. Let's start the next colonist. Um, but we had 60. He had 60 plus K here, which is good. And if he brings that up here to siege, I'll be able to siege with impunity down here. But ladies and gentlemen out there, ladies and gentlemen out there in YouTube land, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, next next episode. We are probably going to declare war on Scotland and go beat up France. So you guys have a great day. Join us next time. Have a good one. And remember, hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.